Here's a Sight Ranger that I put together so I could record a disassembly video on it. It's made out of some of the more abused parts that I had laying around, but should still work. I'm going to break it down, then I'm going to reassemble it, and then I'm going to air it up and see how it holds. So on a Ranger, the barrel is threaded with auto hawker threads. Right on the end of the barrel here has a little bit of a bevel. That bevel is used for our bolt to seal against. There's a bolt, and we can see that bolt seals right in there into that bevel, just like that. Okay. So there's our barrel taken off. Uh, next, I'm going to undo our pump arm screws. There's one. Here. Next, I'm going to unscrew my front grip frame screw, followed by the, you can see without my pump arm screws in, my bolt will just slide out. That's not a problem. It's not like that on all Nelsons, but on Rangers it is because the uh, threads are the same size as the barrel uh, breech or the body breech. So there's no uh, smaller. Uh, threaded area to stop the bolt from coming out. So now I'm going to unscrew my back valve body screw. Okay, my back valve body screw is taken out. Slide my valve body out, slide my body off. My hammer slides out the back. Rearrange my components here. My bolt is flathead adjustable. an anti-kink bolt, my grip frame rail, and my grip frame is actually using a cast Sniper 2 frame, which Rangers and Sight Rangers came stock with. Now here's my valve body. These valve bodies originally came with hybrid uh, cup valve retaining screw with an integrated seal and then our power tube. This assembly works pretty well and they hold up pretty well over time, but I personally prefer a Ranger power tube with a standard Nelspot compatible valve retaining screw and a drilled out CCI cup. So that's what I installed in this one actually. So we have a, power, a Ranger standard 1032 base Ranger power tube right here. Right here, we have our Nelspot valve retaining screw, which does not have a seal built in because this is a standard valve retaining screw. We have our valve spring, then we have a CCI cup seal right here, which I have rethreaded for the 1032 Ranger power tube. So there's our power tube base. Here's a seal that I punched out because the standard 632 Phantom cup seal base doesn't fit on the 1032 base Ranger power tube. And then we have our cup seal that is, or our cup I should say, because the seal's attached right here. That is actually drilled out by me. So screw it back together, nice and tight. Assemble it into the Ranger valve body. Grab one of my tanks and air it out. It's just an HPA tank, no leaks. There we go. So it's all good. And now I'm going to just take this out, snap a couple pictures, then I'm going to reassemble. Ta-da. <laughs>